Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. In this video, I will be installing two boxes of the Fobo Bike 2 tire pressure monitoring sensors to my motorcycle trailers. I was so impressed with the Fobo Bike 2 sensors that I installed on my 21 and my 2016 Honda Goldwing that I decided to add them to the motorcycle trailers. So stay tuned to this video and I'm gonna walk you through how to get them installed. And also I will be walking you through how to add the Fobo sensors to the existing Fobo Bike 2 app. So let's get started. shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my moto vlogs. If you would like to see the video of me installing the Fobo Bike 2 tire pressure monitoring sensors to my Honda Goldwing motorcycles, or if you need a step-by-step -step installation on how to set up the Fobo2 bike app, just click on that video link in the top corner. I will include a link in the description of this video or where you can pick up the Fobo for your motorcycles. So let's get these unboxed. So let's get them opened up. Comes with the quick start guide. The colors that I have is the silver. Now you can get these in a black or you can get these in a silver. I decided to go with the silver. So you get two sensors in each box, just an empty box. Keychain comes with several locking nuts, gives you four locking nuts two for each sensor. It comes with the tool and this tool allows you to tighten the locking nut against the, the tire pressure monitoring sensor. And it also comes with two regular straight valve stems. So next we can go ahead and get the tire pressure sensors and locking nuts installed on the motorcycle trailers. So I'm showing 25 PSI's in the trailer tire. So now that I have 25 PSI's in the trailer tire, I'm going to go ahead and screw down the locking nut. I'm going to put the bump or the bevel in down. It's going to go on first. I'm going to screw it all the way down. Next, I'm going to take my sensor. When I take out the paper, that's going to activate the battery. So to activate the battery, I'm going to screw off the top of the sensor. I'm going to pull the white paper that separates the battery. Just going to take that out. I'm 
I'm going to put back the tire pressure sensor cap and I want to make sure that I don't cross thread it. It's got a little rubber gasket on the bottom and that's going to keep out pressure. I mean, that's going to keep out water. It's going to keep out water. It's going to keep out moisture. So you want to make sure that the cap is tightened down to the gasket. Don't over tighten it, but just kind of sandwich it down till it's nice and tight. Now I can screw the tire pressure sensor on the valve stem. So I'm going to screw it on the valve stem. And when you screw it on the valve stem, the pressure is actually activating the sensor. Now that it's tight, now I can take my tool and I can tighten the locking nut up to the bottom of the tire sensor. You want to make sure that's nice and tight because you don't want to lose that sensor. That sensor is $50 a piece. So now that I have the tire sensor on the trailer, next I am going to, I'm going to add the FOBO sensor to my FOBO app. If you guys didn't see the video on how to set up the FOBO app, Click on that link at the top of this video and it'll show you exactly how to set up the FOBO app. But for this video, the FOBO app is already installed. As you guys can see, I have green check marks, which means that the FOBO app is actually connected to the sensors. Or it means that the FOBO sensors are uh, connected. If you don't have those green check marks in the FOBO app, uh, you got to make sure that your Bluetooth is on and you want to wait for those sensors to actually appear. And that way, you know that the FOBO sensors are reading. So now that I have the tire pressure sensor installed on the trailer wheel, next, I'm going to add it to the existing FOBO app. I'm going to hit, hit that plus button. I'm going to click on motorcycle. And it gives you different options. I don't think it has an option for a trailer. Oh, yes, it does. It does. It has a two wheel trailer. So I'm going to hit two wheel tip, two wheels. You can only select one. So I'm going to select the trailer, which is here. I just want to make sure it only have one check mark. You can actually put a bike ID or profile name. I'm going to hit this picture and I'm going to add the trailer photo. I can do it by camera. I can go by the library or save photos. So we'll do that later. I'm going to just hit cancel for now. Okay. So I have the I have the trailer checked. It gives you details for the make, model, and vehicle, and it's optional. I'm just going to go for the vehicle make. It's a escapade I'm just, I'm going to go with escapade trailer. The model. It's an Excel. The year is a 2021. And now that I have 
the details added in. I'm going to go with the uh, minimum required and maximum pressures. So we're working on the left side. So my max pressure or the required pressure is actually 25. So I'm going to set that to 25. I'm setting the parameters and I'm going to add 10 pounds over for the max. So we'll add that to 35. The minimum, we're going to go 18. So we got 18 on the minimum, 25 on my target, and 35 would be max pressure. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to do the right side, set the parameters, and I'm going to use the same numbers, 18, 25. And we're going to go 10 pounds over and we're going to make that 35. So now that I have everything in, I have my minimums, I have my required pressure and my max pressure. I am going to hit the save button at the top. OK, it says the profile name cannot be empty. Please give yourself a nickname. OK, so profile name, we're going to go with. Escapade. Escapade trailer. I'm going to hit the save button at the top. And now we save. But as you can see, it's grayed out. So the, the motorcycles have the green check, which means that it's connected the escapade trailer is actually grayed out. So I'm going to tap on escapade trailer. It says install the sensors, which I've done. I'm going to hit skip. And next I'm going to put my phone right at the sensor after I press skip. So now that I have it at the sensor, I'm going to hit escapade again. I'm going to hit proceed. And basically what it's doing at this point is it's scanning. Now it says connecting to the sensor. Undetectable. Screw sensor on the right tire position. Touch sensor with your mobile press retry. I'm going to hit retry. And usually I like to install the locking nut once I get the tire sensor set up. Once I get everything working, I'll come back and put the locking nut on here. But to get it started, I'm going to screw down the tire sensor. I'm going to put my phone at the sensor. I'm going to hit retry. It says check in sensor for detail. As you can see, it started reading the tire sensor. I'm just going to hit skip. So now it's showing that I have one sensor connected. I haven't installed the second sensor. It shows the temperature and it shows the battery voltage. So next, let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to screw on the FOBO sensor. I have green check marks. I'm going to place the phone. I'm just going to basically touch the sensor. I'm going to click on Escapade Trailer. 
I'm going to hit settings. Save and profile. So, if you hold down where it says not install, just hold it down. If you don't get an option to set up, just hold it down. You're going to get a message that says install. Hit install. Take the phone, put it at the sensor, click proceed, and it's going to scan the FOBO sensor. And just give it a second. It's going to uh, install the sensor. I'm going to click retry. I'm going to put it right at the sensor. And if it doesn't work, I'll take the FOBO sensor off and screw it back down. It's saying connecting to sensor. Sensor is too far. I'm going to take the sensor back off. I'm going to click retry. I'm going to screw the sensor down. I'm going to put the phone at the sensor. I'm getting connecting to sensor and you may have to do this one or two times, but it will connect. It says checking sensor detail, which means that it's reading. And now it says installation is complete. I'm going to hit OK. Click on Escapade. If you hold down the trailer, you can update the photo. I'm going to go with camera. I'm going to use this photo. It's going to upload the photo to the profile picture. I'm going to save it. It's saving it to the cloud. I'm going to hit home. And now I have the pictures of each vehicle. I have the picture of the 21. And it's going to update those tire pressures. I can click on the 2016. It'll update the tire pressures. I can click on the Escapade trailer that I just installed. And it'll update those tire pressures. So next, we're going to add the Can-Am trailer. So I have the image loaded. I have the profile ID name. I have the parameter set. I'm going to hit the save button. So next, to activate the sensor, I'm going to click on Can-Am 622. I'm going to click on Proceed. I'm going to screw down the valve stem. I mean, I'm going to screw down the tire pressure sensor to activate it. I'm going to put the phone at the sensor. I can retry. It's going to scan. Checking the sensor for detail. Okay. As you can see, the right sensor showed up. So I'm going to unscrew this sensor. This is going to be my right sensor. Next, we're going to do the left sensor. I'm going to unscrew the cap, remove the battery tab. Call from I'm going to screw back down the cap to the sensor, make sure it's good and tight against the gasket. Now, I'm going to screw on the tire pressure sensor. I'm going to click proceed. I'm going to put the phone at the tire pressure sensor and let it scan. Check in sensor detail. 
it says it's complete so next I'm gonna go and put the right sensor on the right wheel when I put that right sensor on the right wheel you'll see it pick up and it'll read the pressure so if we give it a moment we're gonna see the sensor pick up and it's gonna read the pressure so as you can see now it picked up the right sensor and now I have the le left sensor so now I can go back and hit home so as you can see green check marks are inside of the tires which means that the tire pressure sensors is connected if I want to see the escapade trailer or the Can-Am trailer I just select on the image if I want to change that image I can hold it down uh, gives you a couple of options you can show the reference pressure the high pressure settings or you can update that photo I'm gonna update the photo I'm gonna go with the camera I'm gonna click choose I'm gonna hit home so now we have the Can-Am and it's saving that image so it shows me the left pressure it shows me the right pressure and this is the thing I like about the Fobo is now it's showing me all of the pressures on the Fobo app I like the way everything turned out now I can see each motorcycle and I can also see each trailer so if I want to click on the 21 the 2100 gold wing I can click on it and it'll show me the current pressures of the 21 gold wing or if I want to look at the trailer I can just click on the image of the trailer and it'll show me the updated pressure uh, that's inside of the trailer so I like the way the Fobo 2 tire pressure monitoring system actually works I'm gonna be taking out the trailers and do a test ride if you like this video be sure to click the like button if you haven't already subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will talk to you guys later see you